Have you seen the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey? Where Jim Carrey puts on a mask and he becomes the mask. It's a super fun movie about masks. In this video, I'm gonna talk all about masks, but these masks are even more amazing than the ones that Jim Carrey uses. Hi, I'm John Bear. So happy to see your beautiful face. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to go from this to this using masks. Okay. Let's go. Welcome back. First off, thank you so much for commenting on my videos and subscribing. It, it really helps my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm John Bear. I'm your friendly neighborhood Icelandic dude with a camera. Last week, I was shooting a commercial for Rose Tulips Amsterdam, and then I ended up with this shot with the product displayed very beautifully on a reflective surface. And I had the actresses in the background just drinking tea and enjoying themselves. And personally, I love this shot. It looks beautiful. On set, I made sure to have a big old beautiful light lighting up the whole thing because I really needed that oomph in the shot, you know? Make the product just mm. But then when I was editing, I was like, Ugh, it needs more oomph. There's not enough oomph. So I used my magical masks and I went from this to this. Mm. Just notice the heightened oomph in the image. To do this, just toss on an adjustment layer over the clip and then head on to opacity and then click this oval shaped icon. This lets you create an oval. Wow. Draw the oval over the part that you want to oomph up and make sure your feather is increased. You cannot have too much feathering. Feathering just makes it soft and natural. Once it's done, you can go into your Lumetri color panel and play around. I ended up adding saturation, sharpness, and exposure. I especially added some saturation for the pink colors because I wanted the label to really mm, pop in there. This made the rose leaves in the jar also shine, which was a welcome surprise. Done. Beautiful. In this entire video, I used masks for two other places. In this shot, I wanted to brighten up the phone screen to show off the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. So I did the same thing, except this time, instead of drawing an oval, I drew around the shape of the phone by hand. This shot was a little trickier because the area was small and it was moving around a lot, so I had to track the mask frame by frame. Once the mask was in place, I put up the feather and then pumped the exposure. Wow! And now we can clearly see what's on her phone screen. Just a side note, the Burj Khalifa is so tall that I had no way of framing it in my camera. So the way I solved this problem was to have the actress film it on her phone and then I filmed the phone. I don't know about you, but that, that, that sounds like a big brain moment to me. Finally, I had this window shot. I wanted to shoot the Burj Khalifa out the window, but in order to expose the bright outdoors properly, everything indoor had to be underexposed. So I had to fix this in post. The solution is the same. I drew a mask around the window and then I inverted the mask by ticking this box right here. And then I just went ahead and pumped up the exposure. Masks are a fantastic tool to just add more exposure to certain areas of your frame. This helps you bring more emphasis to the subject that you want to focus on. However, masks work best when you keep it subtle. That's why I tell you to pump up the feather because the more feather you have, the smoother the edges. If you don't use a feather, this is what it looks like. If nobody notices your incredible mask skills, that's a good thing. A sad reality for everybody who does visual effects. The less people notice them, the better. That just means you did a good job and it looks realistic. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, hit that like button, share it with a friend. Commenting is the best way to support the channel. So let me know where would you want to use a mask? Or you can just comment about whatever you want. I mean, you could, you could, you could compliment my nice shirt or something like that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. I'm John Bear. Bye-bye.